So vlog 313. So today I went to so it's gonna be I think yeah I'm gonna make a video on today. So today I don't know what happened yesterday, I think. Yeah, so yesterday night Ah same shit different day but today I went to see the nurse at at initially work wise Work was okay, work was quite pleasant. I finished at 12, came home at 1 because MK connect after all. And then I left, were home after having a shower for a second time and went to the hospital crisis team. And there he was. He was already with me, like a leech and a shadow. But yeah, so he was there just laughing. With his, I don't know what, what she is to him, maybe fuck buddy, dick suck, I don't care. But she was there in the room with another person, and I was being, uh, he was sitting there pretending to be someone else, not when, like, not like literally with the same face, but you know, you can throw a cloak all over it. It's like a mask they wear, and there was this black lady, and he was black as well, but he's not really black, but yeah, we can let know that. So he says, he says, he introduces himself and she comes in and she says, I will ask you questions and tell us how you feel. So I ask her, I say, what's going on? The medications don't work and I, ha I have been taking them for 15 years. So I decided not to take them anymore. So she says, Mohan, if you don't take them, they don't work. Well, bitch, I'm telling you right now. I didn't say bitch, but I've been taking them for 15 years and they don't work and I choose to take them and it doesn't work. And I stop taking them and suddenly I have one good day out of 15, 30 years, 15 to 30 years. How am I supposed to say it works and it doesn't work? It's basically like popping mints. They serve no purpose. So I said to her, if you lie to me one more time, you risk one million lifetime of absolute poverty and she refuses to answer that question or acknowledge it she ignores it so that's one million lifetime of absolute poverty where she begs for la food and maybe goes through tramps and literally eats garbage out of i don't care but it's not my concern if you're gonna torment me lie to me manipulate me deceive me poison me drug me, sexually assault me, abuse me, and humiliate me, torment me, and just destroy my future for all lifetimes. Do you think I'll let you have your cake? You basically take mine and give it to someone else and take this piece of shit like the fuck-ups you are. You think I would let any of you have yours? That's rather a very presumptuous of you all. Sure, the energy is a prestigious and wonderful organization, but is it doing its job? It is being used to treat other people so evilly and vilely vile. It's a criminal organization at the end of the day. The mental health department especially. I don't know about the other, country, other people, others, other departments. Right now, for the last 20 or 30 minutes, maybe an hour, I've had so many disgusting sensation all over my body I, I don't know if there's something on my face I don't know what the fuck's going on I don't know what the fuck is even doing on the ride back from the MK Connect bus I was stared by some sort of ki a kid looking at me like I'm some sort of freak I was I think I was being harassed and abused I can't even realize what the fuck's even going on to me I've said this again, and I will say this before again. I've said this before, and I'll say this again. If I have committed treason, and if I am accusing the wrong person, by all means, ball beverage box, throw me in jail, get rid of me, kill me. It makes no difference. There is nothing, get nothing beneficial about abusing me. In fact, I will come after all of you, individually or all together. It makes no difference to me at all. I can kill as many as I like. In fact, I've been, he's been killed 806 quintillion times. That's enough bad karma on your end. 
which will decide even if I kill you a billion times, fuck, trillion times, you will still end up in hell. Does that make sense? Mm. Abusing me sexually, humiliating me, murdering me, torturing me, especially lying to me is a sin, but doing all those is just gonna shit in all of your fucking food. I have said this many times before. Do not lie to me. Do not lie to me. I'm gonna go call, Li I think Lydia her name is? Claudia, Lydia, I don't give a shit. It's all another fucking parasite on this leech of a planet. I will call her again on Monday in three weeks time and find out if she had a confirmation dreams about how fucked up her life is. But before that, I'm gonna go see Lindsay on Wednesday. Lindsay is a man. He's an Australian man. He's also a snake, but yeah, we'll see how this persists. If he lies, well, I'll unload on him as well. Not like this, but like this, verbally. Believe it or not, people's words have power. It is not nice to be tortured sexually when you can't even push the person away. It is fucking evil. <sighs> then again, the real evil hasn't even begun yet. I am tired. Very tired. I want to sleep without being abused, without being bothered. If this persists, I will come after everyone. I don't care if you're gods. It makes no difference to me whatsoever. This is not a threat. This is actually a request and a plea to keep this fucking moron away from me and get me away from him. Let me leave. Let set him free. Or, ideally, fuck up all your lives. It makes no difference. I've lost billions of lifetimes. I've died quintillions of times and in fact my reputation is that of a dog shitting on Harvey Weinstein I don't know even worse than that I may be seen as the most vile being in the planet but it stands to see it's not going to change anything if I desire I have decided if I'm not afraid in well two weeks time well it's going to get real messy bye that is block 313. Let's see if I can get any sleep.